in our example of a simple craps game. In the constructor method here, called the roll dice method, which we created, and that assigned values to each of our die variables and printed something to the screen. Well, we're going to change that method around a little bit to make it a method that takes parameters and returns values. I'm actually going to change the name of the method to better reflect how we're going to use it. Remember, properly naming your variables and method is an important part of object-oriented programming. Thus, I'm going to change the name of the method to call it make random. We start with the lowercase word. And instead of being void, we're actually going to make it return an integer. And inside the parentheses, I'm going to put in two parameters. We'll call it high and low. So you separate your parameters by a comma. And a method can take as many parameters as you want. This one only needs two to serve its purpose, thus we're just giving it to. So let me change around in here a little bit more. I'm going to take this system out, out and I'm going to put it right down here. And I'm going to change around, make die one equal to roll die. I2 equal to roll die as well. And we're going to take this line out. We're only going to need one line here. There we go. Return. Oh. You can see we get the red from Blue Jay. That signifies we have a keyword here. So that's returning our variable of an int right there. And we're going to use high low in this fashion. I'm going to replace this six with high and replace the one with low. And now the hit compile, it's not going to work because we still need to pass our parameters through. So since it's going to be 6 and 1, we'll go 6 comma 1, 6 comma 1. Well, we do have to declare these as type int as well. Sorry about that. Change the name here to make random. And now this actually makes this method more versatile because we can copy and paste this and use this in many different programs since it now produces a random number of whatever range we like instead of being locked down to that 6 to 1. Thus it's more versatile. So when we run the program you'll see that it actually will act the same as it did before. There you go. So just to clarify, what's happening here is this is where you're actually returning the integer. And you could have made this happen on two lines. We could take this return, put it down here, and we could have had int random equals and then have random be returned here. Okay, so you're collecting the random number and then returning it. Or you could do it all in one line. And then that gets assigned to die1 here when you call it, and die2 here when you call the make random method.